Hi everyone, it is time for part two of the estate sale. And all I can say is, I'm shocked. <laughs> I have so much stuff right here that I'm afraid I'm gonna have an avalanche. Hopefully I can get this done in one video. So I'm gonna jump right in. Uh, let's start with the, um, as they say, useful things. All right. They had all the food on sale. Excuse me for one second. While well, I grab this bag. All right. Let me just say, the other day I spent $33.28, I think it was. Today I spent... $33.48. And, <laughs> and uh, I did phenomenal. Okay. All right. So, and I made sure I checked all the expiration dates on the food. I don't want anybody saying, oh my God, Billy, be careful. I made sure I checked. I got three cans of chicken to make chicken salad with. Everything was half price today. So, I got... Three cans of that. Thank God there's a chair right next to me here. Um, I got three cans of Bush's baked beans. I got two big ones and a smaller one. I got a can of um, Progresso chicken and homestyle noodle soup. I got a can, uh, two cans of vegetables. I got a corn and some carrots. I got three cans of soup. Uh, two are, oh no, actually they're all different. A cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, and a cream of celery. I use those when I want to make like a, uh, tuna noodle casserole or, you know, sometimes I'm with chicken. All right, that was bag number one. All right, then I grabbed um, a box of macaroni and cheese. My son will probably have that eaten by this evening. Uh, a box of um, butter and herb uh, instant mashed potatoes. He'll eat. My son, like, I like uh, real mashed potatoes, but I will eat, you know, instant once in a while. He'll just make a meal out of mashed potatoes. So, that was a good deal. Uh, some Triscuits. Love Triscuits. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, this awesome Betty Cracker Caramel Chocolate Nut Frosting. Oh, my God. Does that not look fabulous? I might have to make a cake for work tomorrow because the girls are bugging me to bake something. They know I'm a really good baker, so I might have to do that. Um, okay, then, speaking of baking, I picked up these uh, maraschino cherries. Ran out of room on the chair. <laughs> I got some imitation brandy flavored extract, uh, some imitation maple, a container of ground black pepper, and some spices. Brand new full bottles, rosemary, basil, and sage. All right put these down here. Excuse the top of my head, side of my head, whatever. All right. Oh, and I was able to grab one bin so I could put all the stuff in it. And um, I got this too for half price. I think I paid $1.50 for it. Okay. Moving right along. Um, okay. Any more? Well, I do have a lot of useful things, so okay. 
So let me move this out of the way if I can without anything breaking. Um, I was talking to one of my subscribers, um, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. <laughs> and um, I was telling her about the, the washcloths that I got, you know, when I wrapped up my um, my RS Germany, actually, um, cups and saucers in. And she was saying how she could really use some real nice washcloths. So I told her, I said, well, I'll grab some for you. So here they are, Claudia. We have some like this. We have actually uh, two of those, whoops. And these are actually, these are made by, um, these are Canon, so these are nice quality. Um, we have one like this. I have one like this. And then there's two like this. And basically, um, these were 25 cents a piece, half price. So there you go. So we have those. Then I grabbed myself some towels. Um, my towels are getting kind of ratty, so you know. So I grabbed, um, the towels were $1 today. So I got just a plain white one. I got two like this. I, I don't like really thick towels, especially um, to put on my head after I wash my hair. So these are on the thinner side, which is, that's the way I like them. So I bought two of these. And then I grabbed two of these, which are really very, very nice. These are a little bit thicker. And these are perfect as, as a bath towel to dry off with, as these I'll use for my hair. All right, more useful goodies. Uh, let's see. I purchased this little um, eyeglass repair kit. And, oh guys, where do you see this stuff? Oh my gosh. All right, got this uh, tablecloth, which is very cool. It's actually in uh, pretty good condition. So I, uh, I'm very excited to get these things washed up and then I can throw it on my table. Even though my table is so pretty the way it is, the design on it, you know, every once in a while I like to change it up. So I grabbed that. Got this really, really cute vintage towel, and it's very long. Okay. I got this one. I love these that you can hang on your the handle of your uh, kitchen cabinet. Grabbed this really pretty... Um, it's like a linen um, doily or dress or scarf, whatever you want to call it. It's a uh, square. That was really pretty. I didn't really get to look at any of this stuff yesterday because there was just too dang many people. So today was much, much better. All right. And let me see what else did I get. Okay. I grabbed a couple of... I love these, and I'm sure um, that Lindsay over at Mad Girl Vintage will, her mouth will be watering. I grabbed this little pot holder here. Not a pot holder, it's more like a hot, hot pad. And this one. And this is my favorite because I love the colors. Oh, hi, Binks. All right, and then I grabbed um, some really pretty hankies. Look at this one, guys. It's coming off. I may I have to get a little bit of that um, stuff you can iron on, stick it, it sticks, fusing tape, whatever it's called. Look how cute is that. Then I got one with 
purple trim and little flowers. Got this one with um, blue and yellow. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this technique is called tatting, is it? Or is it not? I'm not sure. I know my grandmother, my great-grandmother had a lot of pillowcases with edging like this on them. This one is very pretty too. So I grabbed those. I grabbed this really cute, uh, like a little doily. And if any of you are interested in vintage aprons, I'm probably going to be listing most of these on um, eBay, probably for like 10 bucks a piece. I just got to get them washed up and ironed and they'll be good to go. So let me start with the ones I just dropped all over the floor. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. This is actually a dresser uh, scarf. And that's the pattern on there. It's very, very pretty. And it's pretty long. All right. Now we'll get into the aprons. All right. We have this little cutie and this is for someone who is extremely tiny <laughs> like this could actually be for a little kid um if anybody likes to cook with their children this would be perfect so there's that one then we have this one very very cute love the colors We have this one. The aprons were 25 cents a piece, half price. Holy cow. So let me show you this one. This one's very, very pretty. Uh, love this one. I'm not sure which one I want to keep yet. This one does have some stains on it. Um, I'll probably end up keeping this one because I don't know if I would be able to get these stains out. But, um, yeah, this is it. You can see there's some yellow staining there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Then we have this one. This one is very cute. Look at that. How cute are these? I was like, oh my God, look at these aprons. This one is adorable too. Look at that. And then it has the little um, zigzag bottom. So lots of aprons. Um, any other useful things? Yes. Suction cups. Since my cat takes them off the window and I have never seen them again. <laughs> Um, oh, then I got this huge, whoops, stack of wrapping paper, all still in the packages. It was regular $1.50. I paid 75 cents for all this wrapping paper. And there are some pretty ones in here, but they're mostly, you know, they're not real vintage uh, wrapping paper. I'm not going to, you know, really go through, you know, all this wrapping paper and stuff. Yeah, this one's a little bit vintage. And uh, this is pretty. This one's really pretty. This would be pretty to wrap a Mother's Day gift. So, yeah, so I got to... Oh, look at this one. This is cute for... For children, the dinosaurs. Yep, so I got this whole stack. All right. I'm just kind of throwing everything back in the bin. Um, any more useful stuff? Okay, I don't think so. All right, so let me start with the, the hard goods now. 
let me get these out of the way because I already showed you those. Um, I got this box of glasses for $1.50. And these are very cool. I have, like, they come like this. Then there's a big blue one. This is probably, I would say, a, maybe 12 ounce glass. There's no markings on the bottom of any of these. So I'm not sure who made them, but I will look them up. Then there's with the yellow, and they have like a ribbed pattern. Then there's two like this, this color. And then there's some more of the blue in the smaller sizes. So all together, I have four blue ones in different sizes. I got three, um, red i got four yellow and two green so we will have to find out about these let me set this down over here Ugh. all right i found this vintage betty crocker cookie book very excited about finding this um i'm not sure if i'm going to resell it or not I I don't know. I have to look through it and see what's in here. Oh, here's a recipe for decorated sugar cookies that she cut out and threw in the book here. But look at look at those yummy yummy cookies. Oh my word. This is not what I need to be looking at, especially when I have to restart my diet tomorrow. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I probably should resell this <laughs> just to save my own self because I know how I am. If I make it and it's there, I'm eating it. I have no self-control when it comes to sweets. That's why I don't want to bake for the girls at work because if it's there, I'm going to eat it. And they get mad at me. They're like, well, we're not on a diet. Hello. <laughs> Oh, one more useful thing. Um, I happened to look below this on this table and I saw this box, knit scarf. So I said, hmm, let me take a look. This is gorgeous and it's still got the tag on it. Look at the colors of this scarf. This is one of those, um, it's called a um, scarf twisted cowl. I mean, look at those colors. They're so vibrant. They're gorgeous. And it's made by Rising Tide is the name of the company. So that's beautiful. All right, still in the box. Okay, so let me start with some little stuff here. I saw this really cute um, dog figurine. They are so cute. Uh, I believe these are Scotty dogs, are they? If I am wrong, please correct me. And um, they were made in Japan. I sold a set of these dishes, this pattern of dishes, actually two sets to the same person. However, the pattern was blue. I have never seen the green. So the blue, the blue ones are called Blue Heaven. So I'm assuming that these must be called Green Heaven because I've never seen them in green before. But this is um, a, a large, like a round platter, probably like uh, for meat or whatever. So when I saw it, I had to grab it. I'm like, this is so cool. I'm sure there's somebody out there that has these dishes and is in need of a big platter. So I'll be listing this as well. Biscuit cutter. Love it. Actually, I might throw this on my three-tiered tray. <laughs> but, yep, grab that. Found a couple more. 
of my vintage tools. These are so, so cool. I don't know exactly. This has a thing in the middle. So I'm not quite sure. I think that's just bent. Maybe not. I'm not sure what this is for. Wait a minute. What does this say? It says stainless. It's so old, it's like worn. I'm not quite sure. If anybody knows what this is for, maybe it could be for a grapefruit. I don't know. And we know this is a miniature potato masher. Then I found this thing, and it was really weird. I'm like, what the heck is this thing? Okay. It was 75 cents, you know, it was 150 regular price and then everything was half price. I'm like, what the heck is this? And it says a Mooli, M-O-U-L-I product, uh, patents pending. And you know, this thing here lifts up, you put whatever in there and then you go like this. I said, there's gotta be something missing though. So I go in this other area in the basement and look what I found. All these little discs that go with it. And, you know, so basically this is a manual food processor. Very cool. I want to see what all of these are. So we have one like this. One like this. One like this. Another one with bigger holes and then one with yet even bigger holes. So I'm like, wow, this is really cool. So I'm not sure if this is a resale item or not, but we'll see. I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, what does it say on here? It says, oh, it's right here. Mooly Shredder made in France. There it is, Mooly Shredder. It helps if you read. Hmm. So that was very cool. I was happy about that. Let me stick this back in here if I can. I don't know if it's going to go all the way through. Eh, we'll do it later. All right. Then I found in the original box, okay, and this is, Okay, it's Chrome Master. It is a beautiful three-tiered tray. And I was gonna put it together and show you guys, but these are the, the pieces here. And this here, let me put these down, is the bottom tray. It's beautiful and in the original box. So um, this is probably going to be for resale because I have no room for any more stuff. All right. So let me put this on here. Move this forward. Move these things forward. And then... I'll have a little bit of organization, maybe. All right, slide that back over there. Okay, then I found these very cool bookends. Show them to you. Very cool Western scene. I thought they were really neat. And they're like, I'm not sure what these are made out of, but um, they're, they do have some weight to them. So um, those were very, very cool. Another resale item. I finally found, these were two for a dollar, flower frogs, the metal ones. So I snatched those up in a heartbeat. I see Miss Stone Home use these all the time in her decor, and I'm like, God, I wish I could find some of those. I have a couple of the glass ones, 
But yeah, so I finally found them. Um, I just grabbed this um, old vintage uh, deck of cards with the Hawaii theme. They're kind of cool. Color Tone, Western Playing Card Company. So that's very cool. Another set of um, my chimes. I love these. Yep. Grabbed a couple of vintage books because I always like to use them in decor. But I don't know. I may, I may list these. We have Tom Sawyer. And we, I've never heard of this one. What is this? Mrs. Pinner's Little Girl. Louise R. Baker. What is the copy? Oh my God. Christmas 1914. Wow. Very cool. Um, copyright 1905. Published in August of 1905. And then Tom Sawyer. It says to whoever from Mother and Daddy, Christmas 1952. Where's the copyright? I don't see it. Well, obviously it's from the 50s, so yeah. So that's very, very cool. Um, I thought this was beautiful. Um, and of course, you know, I like daisies. Um, it says Joan and John 10, 15, 66. There it is. Look at this. Is this not beautiful? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And then it has the initials on the bottom. It was the same as the other um, thing that I picked up. Oh, it was the, the rooster that holds toothpicks or uh, hors d'oeuvre picks. Same initials. So they were made by the same person. This is gorgeous. Then I saw these hanging on the wall and I thought these were really pretty. These are going to be for resale. Got these half price. It was three for $1.50, so I got all three for 75 cents. Look at those. That one. And they have like the domed glass. And then there's this one. And these are made by... Norleans, made in England. So I thought those were very cool. All right, we're getting there, guys. Um, found this very beautiful and colorful tin. I love this. It's gorgeous. Look at the colors on there. It was uh, 25 cents and then half price. And it is made uh, Murray Allen Regal Crown. Imper imported superior quality, exclusive confections. So, yeah, that's gorgeous. All right, let me get this off my finger. Grab this old 18-inch um, ruler. Love it. I broke my other one, my 18-inch um, one that I had. I broke it. So when I saw this, I said, I'm going to grab it. Wall Printing and Binding Company. Very cool. Um, grab this for my daughter. I happened to see this today. I uh, got that for half price. So a dollar twenty-five. It's Winnie the Pooh. And it's 
Yeah, so he's very cute. She'll be excited about that. Um, oh, grab this really nice cleaning um, apparatus. It has like the sheepskin and it comes off to wash. Very cool on a handle. And I can't believe that nobody bought these and I'm probably going to kick myself for buying them because they don't sell very well, but I'm hoping they will. Brand new in the box, snack sets. I got them for $2.50. How could I not get them? And they're uh, like opalescent or milk glass. They have the gold rim the spot for your cup, and then these are the cups. How could I pass those up for, for $2.50? So I definitely, I grabbed those, and they're in excellent condition. So, all right, let me put this under here. Oh, God, they're heavy. All right. Okay, now for a few Christmas items, of course. All right, let me show you this guy. I almost had a cow when I saw him because not only do I have this one, but I found another one last year. I believe I found it at Holy Trinity. And I don't know if it works. Let me see. Oh my God, it works. Because I didn't try it when I was there. Oh my gosh, I am too excited. Okay. So just ignore the music till it stops. <laughs> All right, do you guys remember these? You gotta remember these. Half price, 12 cents each. Got that right, I was grabbing those bad boys. All right, so I, you know I love these vintage little Santas. So I had to grab these. This one is in like mint condition. Look at this guy. He is in perfect condition. Look at him. And then I got this one. He's also in excellent, excellent condition, but his color has faded some, so it kind of looks orangish. But everything is like perfect. So I grabbed those two little guys. They're so darn cute. I grabbed this little guy. <laughs> Another one that's on a pick. Probably, you know, you throw it in a flower arrangement or whatever. Um, I grabbed these. There's four of them. Two of... Um, well, two are the same, and then the other ones are different. So let me show you. We have we have these three. And um, I looked on here to see where these were made. Oh, these were made in Hong Kong. So we have those three, and then another one the same. And they're angels. So I got this whole box. Um, that I'm showing you for 75 cents. The, these three Santas and all the rest. So then I got these. These are Home Co. Beautiful Santas. There's those two. And then there's these two. So I have a nice little Santa collection going on. And then there was also this little guy in here. 
he's cute too. <laughs> Very cute. Um, I think, I think that's going to do it, you guys. So, I mean, I got a ton of stuff for $33. I am beyond excited. So, if you saw anything today that you really, really liked and are interested, I am going to start leaving my email address in the description box as well as my eBay, Etsy shop, and uh, Facebook link so that um, if you need to get a hold of me, um, you'll have my email address. So, guys, I'm done. I came home from the estate sale. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. There was one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, let me just grab the bag real quick. It's right here. I went back to the community yard sale again this morning just to see if they had any new stuff. And they just had a few things. Oh my God, I just, ch I chipped this. I am so mad. Well, this was a beautiful planter until I chipped the hell out of it right there. It's made in Japan. Alrighty, well, that's the way it goes. Yep, I can't believe I chipped that. Oh, no. Well, you know what? Here's the chip right in here in the bag. So I might be able to fix that. Let me throw that in there. Gosh darn it. Anywho, um, all the DVDs were 50 cents. And as I said, um, my son and I, are we love horror movies. But most of these I, I got for him. So I got him... Um, this other Exorcist movie. This one has George C. Scott in it. Um, I actually got this um, for work that we could show like at Halloween time. Um, Monster House. Then this one is eight different movies. This one is um, Seven Nights of Darkness, Ominous, The House That... Would Not Die, Haunting Fox Hollow Farm, um, Haunting Winchester House, Children of the Corn, 666, um, Evidence of a Haunting, and Darkness. So eight movies for 50 cents. Got this one for him. Uh, Blood Drive, <clears throat> uh, hosted by Rob Zombie. How exciting, because he's a nut. <laughs> and Hellraiser, no one can forget Pinhead, or whatever his name is. Is it Pinhead? Or Pinface, or whatever. Yeah, so that's what I got when I went back there as well. So I spent, what, one, two, three, four dollars I spent. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go fix this. <laughs> and guys, as I said, if you see anything you like, let me know. And please comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Got the, the one coming up from uh, Holy Trinity. That's a good one too. All right. Bye for now, guys.